finally got in and got a good shot on an old one. Okay, so this week we'll be hunting buffalo in the Malapati area in Zimbabwe. It's a beautiful country. We'll be hunting with Tabamoyo Safaris and Mr. Mark Toll. The buffaloes here is just exceptional. Let me tell you, if you've ever dreamt of shooting a buffalo, this is the place to come and do it. But I will let the footage do the talking further. All right, we're getting going. Got a track. We're following it for a little bit to see what it's like. Um, the first few days, the uh, proved to me that the buffalo hunt was more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Um, we got up on a lot of them, but it was thick and they always seemed to smell us or spot us or something. And um, then it got very hot. They were walking. Let's face that way. Lemson and uh, and Davison. And the buffalo came from that side. And we chased them. Um, Lemson managed to go up there. Lemson managed to hide behind there. And uh, Davison ran round. And the buffalo nearly took him there. He went down. And um, the buffalo tried to take him and he was hitting that rock. But uh, it managed to hit him on the, on the knees. Mm -hmm. And he survived just by that. Day three, heading back out. Hopefully this morning's this morning. It's up to the trackers now. <laughs> quite extreme because just imagine how many nets and how many fish they catch out of the river. These are used as extensions. This point goes in here and causes a long line that they attach the fishing nets to. And if we did not have people hunting in that area and patrolling, we would have never found that. And even in this time that we've had the area in Zimbabwe, at Malapoti, the animals, the wildlife, the bird life, fishes in the river, everything has increased because of the anti-poaching that's being done. And that kind of, that gives us hope because that makes, makes you believe that you can save beautiful areas like that again. Some other herds we had our shoes off sneaking up in our socks we always ended up in busting and uh, I think with all of that happening it just made it so much more rewarding Yeah, we plan to do the 
Do <laughs> you think they were coming down here to the robot and then on the client and the buffalo came from there and he came straight here. He wanted to take Robert and Robert uh, sort of uh, uh, went sideways and then uh, Ben was following it, went for Ben, Ben went down and then the client tried to uh, shoot it. That's when it then turned and went that way. And that's that same buffalo that then hit Devson on the other side, further down. Famba, Kiji Chaga Nyati, Magfin, Anna Party, Naruan, Limpo. We came across um, an old Daga boy that had slipped and fell into the mud of the river. And uh, in that time of the year, it had not yet rained. So all of the, the softer green grass is finished. Only at the river beds and um, close to the river you'll still find some greenery and he actually got stuck with half of his head like this in the mud and it was uh, it was quite sad to see because he was so skinny from his worn down teeth not being able to eat the dry grass that he could not get himself out of the mud and uh, we talked to the ranger and asked him is there anything that we can do and he said unfortunately not how their rules work as you let nature take its course So after a few days that we were trying to get onto some buffaloes, we finally one morning decided um, with the heat being so extreme that we're going to get up a little bit earlier and then we'll come back around about 9 o'clock when the heat starts getting intense. Goedemorgen, hoe gaan dit? Lekker dag bij warm. Alles is recht. The three in here. And uh, with that decision, we didn't even know, but that would be the make or break. Because uh, just as we were starting to head back to the truck, Patrick saw some um, ox picker birds landing. And he signaled to us, he said, there must be a buffalo down here. Because the birds land on the buffalo and groom them for ticks and fleas. Um, as we approached this little ledge, the buffalo stood up and he came out about five yards from us. <laughs> It was quite intense, but uh, it was really a wonderful adrenaline rush. We just waited for him, he was walking away from us. And when he turned broadside,
and a couple of shots later with the gun jamming in between Mr. Mark got himself a beautiful old dugger boy, a real Zimbabwean buffalo bull and uh, all the hard work and sweaty hot days were worth it in the end. Yeah, and, uh, and we're now looking at 36. It's five meters. <laughs> Good God. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> great trackers, great guide, great parks guy. Um, best thing is, after all of this, the meat goes to the communities, so they all get fed good. Awesome time. Appreciate everything. And especially like to thank my dad here for a father-son hunt. <laughs> <Dad>. <laughs>